Tsunami Studios. Power Rangers, issue number six. If you thought this book couldn't get any more Star Wars, you'd be wrong, because they literally do a thing they did in that Solo movie, and they do a train heist. So, it's a train heist issue. It's awesome. It's a space train. It's a space train heist. Space Power Rangers. We get some flashback and a little more information on Astromina, just so you know the kind of person we're dealing with here, someone who's morally ambiguous, who could go bad or good at any given moment. She's royalty. Her home's destroyed by Power Rangers. Some some guy takes her away, saves her life. It's Ecliptor. He's hand, she's handed to Ecliptor, and then she is trained to become a fearsome warrior that will kill the Power Rangers. And Trini's like, that is ridiculous, and Power Rangers would never kill anybody, and Ecliptor is like, you're literally working with Lord Draken, so shut up about it, maybe? Like, you really don't know what you're talking about. And Ecliptor proposes an idea, or an alliance to say the least, where they will work together, they will combine their resources if they break all three of our people out of prison, and then they'll never deal with each other again. Sadly, it looks like the route that they're going to have to go is teamwork, and Trini is like, this is probably going to backfire, but okay, I guess we're doing it. So they do it, and we get a scene in the prison cell where Jason and Estromina are talking, and they're just getting, like, their little flirt on, you know? A couple of cool kids who are probably age-appropriate to kiss. Are they gonna kiss, though? No, not in this book, but they kind of set it up where these two might have a little flirtatious thing going on, which there's nothing wrong with that. I do believe currently that there is an Estromina miniseries going on. Is that what that Air of Darkness is called? I can't remember, but very fun. I like it. So you, you, I buy the relationship where she's hardened by times and people are bad. So she doesn't want to get close to people. And Jason's the optimistic kid. Like, you get it. Like, come on. Let's kiss already. They don't say that, but you get the feeling. You understand what it is. So again, like I said at the beginning, it is a train heist. They got like a floating boat. They're going to pull up to the side of the train. Trini and Ecliptor are going to jump on it and they're going to attack some of the SPD guards. It's looking pretty cool. Excise on the boat, just keeping it afloat. And it, again, I, I I'm not gonna go like super in depth into every scene that happens on the train heist because it goes like pretty much the way you'd expect it. Trini gets into the cell area, she breaks them all out, and it's it's just fun. Like they take out one of the guards, everyone gets their freedom. The fight's looking pretty dope, but we do take a little brief moment to cut back to Lord Draken, who's talking to Fendrick. And he's like, yo, Fendrick, I, I hear you, you like met with some of my friends the other day and you took one of their fusion converters in like a, a little card game. I'm kind of going to need that back. And he's like, oh, please, I don't know what you're talking about. I would never cheat at cards. And of course, Yale shows up and the guy's more willing to talk now. So Draken, love him or hate him, he's on the side of our rangers currently and he's giving them their fusion converter so they can actually get back on of their mission. Very cool. Again, Draken, you... you could go one note with this character, but the fact that you're trying to make him Loki, I think makes sense. Like, if you're ever going to make any character good or bad, just like in the gray, it might as well be the Loki type. And if you want to make Draken Loki, go for it. It works. I think it works. So everyone's free from prison. They're like, uh, why are we freeing Astromna? It's like, okay, I guess we're working with a villain now. So they get on top of the train, some fighting, Jason saves Astrama, you know, it's like the classic thing, don't say I never did anything for you, people are fighting, everything's looking cool, it's just, a, it's an easy fight, it looks fun, and it's just, it's enjoyable, it's enjoyable stuff, you know, like the guard that they attacked comes back to hit Jason, Astromina kills him and says like the don't say I didn't do anything for you, and you know, it's like classic stuff, like there's nothing over exemplary about this book, it's just like a train heist, the artwork is consistent with every issue. It looks great and spectacular. I thoroughly enjoy what we're looking at, what we're seeing. It's very fun stuff. It's just so gorgeous and bright. I love it. Very clean, very dope. And basically, we win the day. Everyone goes their separate ways. End of the story. <laughs> well, not the end of the story, but pretty much that's the end of it here. The, everyone just wins, and we, we wrap it up pretty quickly. And like I said... You don't need to do a lot in this issue. Like, there's so many, like, individual dialogue pieces I could dive into, but you you understand it, you know? Like, Astromina's, like, 
gonna kind of get close to Jason, but she's still gonna be like a hard ass about it. And Jason wants to be the optimistic one. Trini's kind of mixed on the whole situation because an innocent man died because of their choices and that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, it's still your solid Power Rangers affair that we've seen before from this universe and these characters. So I really enjoy that. I think it's a fun book. It was really interesting. It felt very Star Wars, I think more so than a lot of them, but like, come on, you're going to like space casinos and you're gambling, you're shooting stuff. It's very Star Wars already. I think this issue was just really fun and bright and I really liked the way it played off. I liked the way it handled itself. It's fun. It was really fun and I, I think a lot of people are consistently going to enjoy this book. It just, it plays off really cool and different and it's got some great stuff to it. So I don't have a lot else to say. Like, it's fun. You're going to like it. Like the Power Rangers doing a train heist in space. That's some cool shit. A Stromnani clip door there. Those guys are pretty cool. So it's very fun. I, I think a lot of people will enjoy this book. So Power Rangers issue number six. I am going to give a seven out of ten. Now thank you guys for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Twitter all that good stuff, and I will catch you in the next one. Have fun, stay safe, good luck.